All right, folks. So today we're going to take a look at this Retivis GMRS radio. It's the RA86, and you can see I have it powered up here. We're going to do a power output test for this, and this has two settings, high and low. High does 20 watts, low does 5 watts. Before we get this video started, I did want to say that I was contacted by Retivis, and they asked if I would do a review of this new small, tiny little GMRS radio. And of course, I said yes, so they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored reviews, you might want to go watch some cat videos. Okay, so that being said, let's talk a little bit about how we're going to test this. You can see here on the microphone, we're on channel one, and the power output setting here is low. This radio is uh, default to low on channels one through seven, and you can't change that because of rules by the FCC. Now channels 15 through 20 are set on high. So if I change the channel, and hopefully you can see this okay, now we have a high indicator here. So we're gonna test this on a couple of low channels, we're gonna test this on a couple of high channels and see what the power output is. Now, in order to do the watt output test, we're going to use this Nisei Digital SWR and watt meter. So let me get this all set up. We're going to come right back and we'll proceed with the tests. Okay, folks, and we're back and we have everything set up. Here is our SWR power meter. And then here is the microphone or the control unit for the radio. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to turn this on so you can see it. We're on channel one and we have it set for low power. Let's go ahead and key it up. And when we key up, we see 2.21. We have no reflection back. Our SWR looks pretty good at 1.03. So that's not quite five watts. If I talk into the microphone, I'm talking into the microphone. It really doesn't make any difference. I have my mic gain set on three out of a scale of one to three, and that would be the highest. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to 22, which is the high wattage output. So let me go ahead and key up. And then you can see we are at around 13 and a half watts. And when I talk into the microphone, I'm talking into the microphone, nothing changes. And our mic gain setting hasn't changed either. Let me go down to channel 15. This is the other end of the high power output channels. And you can see here on the microphone that uh, our high designation is set. So when I key up on channel 15, we are somewhere around 13.5, 13.6 watts. Talking into the microphone makes little difference, if any. All right, and what I want to do is I want to go down to channel 7, which would be the high end of the low power output. And here we are, and you can see by looking at the designator here, we are, well, hopefully you can see that, we are on low power. So I key it up, and we are at around 2.20, 2.21, which is where we were before, and talking into the microphone makes little, if any, difference at all. So folks, I think that... Uh, shows that this is a little bit lower than the manufactured suggested output. Okay, I wanted to try one more test. We were using about six feet of RG8X coaxial cable to connect the radio to the power meter that we were using. And that cable can be uh, lossy or have attenuation at GMRS frequencies. So what I've done here is I grabbed a different Nisei power meter and I connected it directly to the back of the radio output. And we have a dummy load here on the right hand side of the power meter. Now here we are and this is on channel 7 and it's set for low power. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to key up and we are right at 5 watts where we should be. Let me go ahead and drop down to channel one. So now we are here on channel one and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up and we are right at five watts where we should be. So the losses that we saw in the previous test were a direct result of the coaxial cable uh, in introducing attenuation. So let me go ahead and move this up to the 60 watt scale. And now we are on channel 22, which is a high power channel. We're going to go ahead and we're going to key up and we are probably around 18 watts. So we're a little bit less than 20 still there, but we are up from our previous reading. Let me go down to channel 15. And now we are here on channel 15 and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up. And again, we're at around 18 watts. 
So it's a little bit better, but uh, still not exactly where we want to be on the high power output. And I think that's going to conclude the test. So what I want to say is thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Also, thanks to Retivis for sending this radio to me for my consideration.